what is going on guys in today's video we have another squad builder for you guys and it's a 250k bundesliga team so with team this season coming out like in a couple of days this team could literally be maybe half the price of it is now but anyway i thought i'd share with you guys always been so solid for me this week i had it for ages yeah i thought i'd share with you guys so in goal we have someone who in my opinion is better than butland it's timo horn he is just out of order on this game that is the only way I, that's the only way i can describe him he is he's six foot four i've had him for 210 games never bothered to sell him because he's been that good for me and yeah he's just good at everything he is he is honestly incredible favorite keeper on this game definitely what really makes this team special is the defense inform brooks and inform socrates costs roughly around 70 k between them but you have one of the best defenses in the game. Like, I don't understand how how Brooks, this card, is worth 20k. And that was like that that was his price on more or less release day for the, for this card. I don't understand. I mean 78 pace, 88 defending, and 84 physical. That is matching up with Boateng, who's what like what? 150k more expensive? It is ridiculous. And then you've got Socrates. Those stats are just a disgrace. That's the, that is the only way I can, I can, I can describe him. He's just ridiculous. Left back, I haven't gone with someone that expensive. Wendell, cheap, quick, and just gets the job done every single time. Right back in the Bundesliga, there aren't that many options. I've gone with Piszczek because I prefer a bit of pace, someone like Lam. But yeah, he's pretty good in his own right. My first DM is going to be my favourite centre mid on the game, and he's a cam. But he's converted down from a striker, and he's... Man of the match, Lars Stindl. So, this guy is a base striker with 74 defending, which is ridiculous. But he makes the best sentiment in the game. Long shots are insane. Passing is ridiculous. His passing range is incredible. I mean, he's he's also very good at dribbling. He can, def he can do everything. Just look at those stats. I mean, you can literally play him anywhere on the pitch and he'll go and do a job for you. He's so good. Best sentiment in the game by a mile just insane player so next enemy mid is going to be another ridiculous looking card nabby cater so this guy is going to get an absolutely ridiculous team in the season as well come like maybe a couple of weeks and he's also got another inform after this but yeah anyway this card in, in itself is just ridiculous i mean look at those stats everything is above eight everything is above 80 except for one stat but with a chemistry star that fixes everything i mean just that card is a disgrace that's all i can say about it our cam is going to be in form of forsberg so this guy is also another player likely to be getting a team of the season he this card goes for about 38k some something like that on the market something ridiculous and his stats are just way too good for that 88 passing 88 dribbling four star four star 40, 40 goals and 41 assists in mostly foot champions games in 81 games is pretty good for me um and yeah he's just so good he's good at everything he's like he's kind of like the orchestrator of attacks he's insane on this game left wing i've gone with douglas costa on account of i didn't have enough to buy royce but yeah i mean those stats are insane once again i mean rapid obviously five star skills as well might help for a lot of people he's small which helps with like agility in that just yeah a very very all-round winger on this game as is our right mid once again a cheaper option karen bellarabi he's just always been very very good for me but, um yeah 85 dribbling great long shot again i would say the right and the right and left wing is practically identical in my opinion except costa's got a bit more skills and a bit more pace but they are both very good in my opinion and striker is someone who apparently was meant to be like really bad for a lot of people but for me, he has to be the best, one of the best cheap strikers on the game. It is in form Serge Nabry. He is insane, especially now he's got the skill upgrade as well. But genuinely, th this guy has ball control, which literally makes the ball stick to his feet like glue. He is so hard to tackle. He's so good at shooting, despite what AC shooting might might say about him. But seriously, this guy has to be one of the most underrated players, probably one of the best players I've used on this game. I can't believe more people don't use him. But yeah, that is the team, guys. If you did enjoy, please drop a like, and I will see you guys later.